Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's quick tip, I'd like to answer one of the questions we get an awful lot on the channel, which is how do I record audio when I'm flying my quad? Now, to give you a little background on this, there are a lot of flyers that would love to record a voiceover track when they're flying their quad to describe the area they're flying in, or maybe they're flying near a point of interest and they want to provide some background or history on that point of interest. And there are a couple of ways you can do that. Obviously, the quad doesn't include a microphone because honestly, having a quad up at 200 feet with a microphone in it, you'd capture very little audio from the ground and with the prop noise, probably be useless anyway. Another option would be to use a standalone digital voice recorder. A lot of people like using lavalier microphones and recording a separate audio track that they'll blend together later with the footage you shoot from the quad. But there's even an easier way. The DJI GO 4 application has a function built into it that allows you to record audio from the microphone on the device you're using to control the quad, whether it be a phone or a tablet, and blend that in with the cached video that comes back from your quad. That makes it really easy for you to export that directly to your social media channels, or if you want to have a higher quality video, you can take that audio track and blend it with the video you're recording from the quad later on in post. So what I'm going to do in this clip is show you how to enable that function, talk about what each of the options are, kind of give you some feel for what options I use when I'm recording audio, to just to point you in the right direction. Then I'll show you an example of how I use this. I put a short short clip together as part of a tutorial, and I'll give you an example of how the audio sounds over top of that, just using the microphone off my iPhone. Uh, and then finally, I'll come back with some conclusions on it. So stay tuned, then I'll get into the tutorial. Before I show you how to enable audio recording on your quad, it's important to note that this functionality was introduced in later versions of the DJI GO 4 application, which means if you're running an early version of this app, you may have to update it to enable this functionality. The good news is, DJI GO 4 is the application that runs with most of the modern quads from DJI. So if you're flying a Mavic 2, a Phantom 4, a Mavic Pro, a Mavic Air, or even a Spark, this will work with the quad you're flying. The challenge is, if you're flying an older quad, say a Phantom 3, that runs on the original DJI GO application, you can still cache the video, but you can't turn on audio recording with that quad. So let's dive into the steps. We'll start on the main page for the DJI GO 4 application. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see three dots that allow you to get deeper into the options. If you tap those three dots, it takes you to the general settings page. Now near the top, there's an option called cache during video shooting that's currently off. That option enables video caching on the device you're using to fly your quad. And it's important to understand you can't record audio without also caching the video. It actually lays the audio track on top of the video you're caching to your device. Now that does take up space on your phone or your tablet, so when you turn this on, you're going to see a lot of options below it that control exactly how that recording is done, how long it's kept, and how big it gets. So once we turn that on, those options are now available. Now I'd like to explain each of those options so you clearly understand how that recording is being handled on your device. And we'll start at the bottom. The bottom option allows you to clear your video cache. If you tap that, it'll erase everything you've cached up to this point. And that's a good idea to do if you're out flying for a new day. It'll clear out all the video footage you took the previous day and clear up all that space for new recordings. Above that, you've got the option to clear cache automatically. Now I keep that on because I like having it sort of self-maintain that available space. And what happens there is if you have that on, it'll actually record over the oldest recording that's on your device. And that way you're not using extra space and you never run out of space to cache. Now once you turn that on, it's gonna warn you uh, you're sure you want to do this because it's going to get rid of the oldest recordings. And some people turn that on and don't realize that it will actually erase recordings you've done yesterday. But I like that because typically I'll come home from a long day of flying, I'll transfer off what I care about, and then I just let it clear itself out the next day. Above that, you have a choice on how much video cache you're going to dedicate from the device. So if you're using a phone that has a really small amount of storage space on it, you want to be very careful about that. If you turn on auto, it's going to make an adjustment for you to sort of find a, a happy medium to not eat up all the space you've got on the device, but use enough to capture a good amount of video. But once you tap that blue, right now it says auto, if you tap that, it gives you a choice to pick exactly the size you want. You may want to limit that. You may want to say, look, I only want four gigs of space on my phone or my tablet to be used for this video caching. And you can change those things dynamically. I keep it on auto because that way it allows me to not worry about it and have the thing self-manage itself. This next option is the one we really care about in this video because it enables the audio to be recorded from your device and blend it with the video that you're already caching. The last option I want to talk about is when you leave this screen, you want to make sure you have both of those options turned on. So I've turned on cache during video shooting, which provided all of the options below, and I've got record audio with video cache. And again, what that's going to do is blend the caching you're doing of the video from your flying with the audio recording from the microphone and the device that happens to be connected up uh, to your controller. And that's pretty much it. Once you enable those, 
any video that's been cached to that device will now have an audio track over top of it that's been recorded from that microphone. Now stay tuned and I'll show you an example of how I did this recently for a small tutorial I was putting together. Now I'll do a pullback shot. It's one of my favorite techniques to use when I'm flying the quad because it sort of slowly reveals the area you're flying in. And if you've got a lot of landmarks, like I'm coming up on a small island here, it just adds drama to it because they seem to come out of nowhere. And it helps to add perspective of exactly where you're flying. So you can get a real good view of the area. But you have to be careful that you've got clearance over the trees. And I flew this first to make sure that I was high enough. But I love how that gives me a, a beautiful pullback view of the lake. And just adds a whole lot of drama to it in color. So it's a really nice technique to use. I hope that was helpful in showing you how you can enable audio recording on your quad, because I know they kind of hide that option down in the menu a little bit, and I guess that's where the confusion was coming from. Anyway, if you've got questions on anything I've covered today, drop them in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I really enjoy putting these quick tips together. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these to try to answer one question in a very short order. So if there's something you need more clarification on, or if you have a question, drop it in the comments below, and I'll definitely add it to the list. Thanks so much for watching, and again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, because we have a ton more content coming out this year that you're definitely going to want to watch. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, happy flying. Mm -hmm.